It's hard not to be a fan of a credit card that gives you more while saving you money every single day. The Illini Visa Rewards Card, available only through U of I Community Credit Union. Welcome back to the Thursday Walkthrough. Martin O'Donnell here with Coach Lovey Smith. And Coach, big game against Northwestern this weekend. Final game of the season. And uh, one thing that the Wildcats have certainly been over the past couple years is a team that's really based on strong defense. What do you see from the team defense that Northwestern plays this year? I see a team that's, uh, that has a strong defense. Uh, they play hard. And you expect you know, Northwestern to be a disciplined team. And you see that in our defensive play. Uh, you know, kind of relentless to the football. Uh, you know, there's an emphasis on taking the ball away, which is similar to, of course, how we play ball. So a lot of things in common. Uh, you have to, you know, play good defense. I, we, we both believe uh, to have a successful team, and that's where they are. Well, and, you know, one of the big playmakers for Northwestern is Austin Carr, who's a Belitnikoff finalist at, at wide receiver. And uh, what do you see, what jumps out about him on tape for you? Uh, you know, talented player, uh, runs great routes, competitive, uh, you know, being a slot probably most of the time. You know, decent size, just a good all-around football player, can catch the ball, uh, has been productive. Um, so we'll, you know, I know he's had an injury, but we'll, uh, you know, if he's on the football field, they're a lot better with him on the football field, I'll just say that. Yeah, certainly. And, you know, in, in thinking about this game, uh, against Northwestern, what's the one thing, what's been the one big point of emphasis for the team this week? Well, for us, I mean, there, there are some games, every game is important and special, but you, you have a rivalry game each year. Mm -hmm. And uh, for us, it's Northwestern. Uh, we started our football season, you know, having certain goals, and one of those goals was to beat our rival. Uh, you know, each week it's about finishing. And uh, this is the last game. You know, last week we talked about the last home game for a senior class. Now it's down to the last game period that they'll wear, you know, the Fighting Illini uniform. So we want to send them off on the right foot and for our program to finish up with a big win. Uh, you know, for the Land of Lincoln Trophy, there's just so much at stake for us to uh, springboard us into next year. Yeah, certainly. Well, and, and we're here a few days before the game, and the team has seen some movies before games uh, this year. So a couple rapid-fire movie questions for you. What's your favorite football movie? My favorite football movie. Oh, you would have to ask that. Or a favorite. Uh, I'm going to go first while I stall to figure that out. My favorite movie of all time is Being Here. I watch Being Here a few times every year, to say the least. But my favorite uh, sports movie. It could just be sports. We can broaden it. Um, I'm going to go Varsity Blues. Varsity Blues, Blues. I'm a little bit older than you, so that probably wouldn't be my favorite. Uh, it had a lineman as a main character, so I could identify a little bit. You know, lately, yeah, I, I can see that. <laughs> but that is a good movie. I remember the Titans, of course. That's an easy one to, you know, feel good, based on a true story a little bit, too. Um, and... Uh, now, after we finish this interview, something will pop in mind, but I'll just go with that right now. What about favorite comedy? Favorite comedy? There's a lot of comedies. First off, I'm a movie person. Yeah, okay. I'm a movie, movie guy, so I'm going to go back, way back to some of the old Sidney Poitier, Bill Cosby uh, classics uh, up until, you know, uh, any of the funny movies that you have now. Friday is one I've watched a few different times. Uh, but again, I have a lot, a lot of favorites. What's the best movie you've seen in the past year? In the past year, um, that's the thing. I mean, most of the movies that I've been watching, of course, the last few weeks, we've uh, had a chance to go with our football team mm -hmm. uh, to see a couple of, uh, uh, you know, special movies. You know, last week, you know, Bleed for This uh, was pretty good based on a true story also. Uh, but beyond that, you know, I catch a lot of mine on the second run. I'm a second run guy instead of the first timeout type guy. 
Yeah, I, I pretty much live on Redbox now too. That's uh, um, okay. Got that out of the way. Now talking about, you know, you've talked about once this game is over against Northwestern, a lot of the coaches are going to go out. They're going to be recruiting uh, different areas, so they're going to be out recruiting. How long are they going to be out recruiting for? And then what are kind of the next couple of big milestones on the Illinois football calendar? Yes, well, yes, Martin. Right after the Northwestern game, we'll transition right into the into our you know the heart of recruiting for us. Uh, for me, starting in the Chicago area, so I'll be up there the first couple of days. Then I'll head down to St. Louis, and um, we have our first big recruiting weekend uh, the following, I guess, December the second or so that weekend. So we'll need to be back in town for it. Um, and I say that, and the rest of our coaches will all will go out to our different areas, from California to Florida to Texas, all around. We'll just kind of flood the area, but we'll always start first in the, you know, in the Chicago, Illinois area. Well, it sounds like it sounds like there's busy times ahead for for you and the coaching staff. And uh, just want to tell you, thanks for sitting down every week with me. And you know, before we sign it off here for the year. Thanksgiving is upon us. What's one thing you're thankful for this year? Oh, so much. Just, uh, you know, we're all, um, you know, with the schedule the way it is this year, um, you know, a lot of times through the years, uh, haven't been able to let, you know, all of our players be able to spend Thanksgiving with their families. But we all have so much to be thankful for individually. But just to be able to spend a day to acknowledge, you know, how blessed we are. Uh, that's what it's all about for me and for us. So, again, all of our guys are going to get a chance to do that this week. And uh, we're thankful for what we have now. We're also thankful for what's going to happen, you know, with our program in the future. The future is bright and just can't wait to uh, get this next phase, finishing up this season. And, and before you know it, we'll be right back at it again, sitting here talking with you. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks for stopping by the Thursday walkthrough.